Dr. Puke, with a sometime painful condition like RA, how do you balance when to rest and when to be active? Well, it's a matter of being real with yourself. If you experience a flare for crying out loud, don't be out there joining an Olympic camp. Just be kind to yourself, support yourself. You know, back off any kind of physical activity that's really going to exacerbate or make worse um, that flare and the pain. So get real and be very practical. The other thing is it's all about balance. You want physical activity, you also want rest. This is something I tell all yeah. of my patients so that you're not out there, you know, spinning around on little treadmills all day long. You've got to allow yourself that rest. Just sit there and actually look at your schedule and really put down rest time, time to meditate, time to just chill out. I'm giving everyone a license to chill. <laughs> Dr. Peek, how do you recommend women living with RA get started on that exercise program? Well, the first thing that's absolutely important is you've got to work with your rheumatologist and your entire medical team. When you visit that fitness professional who's going to do a full assessment, you know, how far can you bend down? What is your flexibility or what are your restrictions right now? When you write them all down, you have an opportunity to be able to see, wow, a month later I can actually move a little bit further and back and forth. Then you work with your rheumatologist and your medical team and, and giving them that kind of feedback. Look what I can do now. I actually walked you know, a mile without pain. It's very important to have that on the overall. We have a term that we call treat to target, which really isn't so very new. And I actually think that most patients really want a target. Mm and want to evaluate their therapy on a regular basis um, based on that target. And well, the, the, the target really goes into the whole issue of right. goals. When you have fitness goals, you want to be realistic about them. You know, getting up and thinking you're going to, you know, be pain-free in five minutes is obviously ridiculous. But by putting together a realistic, uniquely tailored um, strategy, then you can kind of say, well, okay, my goal may be just to walk that mile, you know, within a period of a month without as much pain. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll have some, but it'll be better managed one way or the other, and that's wonderful. So having those goals and objectives right up front and discussing them with your, with your physician and your team are so terribly important. And remember your support team, too. They're here to inspire and to motivate. So you need inspiration and motivation all along. Really great advice. Dr. Strand, what improvements or changes in disease control have you seen in your patients who really do exercise regularly? They feel better. It's yeah. just very clear. Um, they have less pain. And I think they also feel better because they feel like they're managing their disease as opposed to it managing them. And I think it's very much like the treatment goals we were talking about. And nowadays, these treatment goals actually change. You know, they keep getting farther and farther along. And it's really very nice to see because even though we don't have cures, we have such nice therapies that can make a huge difference in helping to control the disease. And exercise, being active, and being independent, maintaining your independence is so huge. Doesn't it feel good when your patients come back and Oh they say, look what I've been able to do, and you say, wow, you know, this whole integrative approach really works to free that person to live the kind of life that they really deserve. Yeah, I mean, it's been amazing in the last decade how much things have changed. It's wonderful. It's so great, both of you. Thank you. It's such helpful information. Dr. Strand, Dr. Peek, really good, helpful, useful information. Thank you both. You're Thank most you. You're welcome. Next, we will talk about one woman's personal whole body approach and our expert's advice for maintaining an active and full life while living with RA. Please join us and remember to check out healthywomen.org. And you can find more tips on staying active and how to customize your exercise routine on reachbeyondra.com.